Solicitors in South Carolina could face audits after one of their number is accused of misusing funds and spending thousands on vacations, luxury Uber rides, and casino trips. That is Dan Johnson from Richland County. But what would these audits mean for the people accused of upholding the law across the state? Well, our George Godfrey has more details on the proposal. The solicitor's office. It's a key cog to the state's judicial system. And now after records showed one solicitor misusing funds, lawmakers want to see if others are breaking the rules. If it is not state general funds, then I have uh, limited access to it. And if it is uh, a solicitor, which is a constitutional officer, then he's funded by the counties and by the uh, the state, and it makes it very difficult. They don't, they, they don't really have oversight of their budget. So members of a House law enforcement committee are asking solicitors to hand over copies of their finances, a suggestion most solicitors are on board with. To is, is preserve the integrity of the office. That's something that I think is incumbent on every public official, no matter what position they hold. All 16 solicitors would have to have an audit completed by December 1st, so the legislature would have time to review the results before working on next year's budget. Most people are, are uh, doing very well at the job they do and budgeting through the solicitor's office, but in this one example is one that shows that there does need to be some level of oversight. The audit is part of the state's budget and would go into effect July 1st if approved. In Columbia, George Rigodfrey, Godfrey, 7 News. Dan Johnson is under investigation by the FBI and State Law Enforcement Division for that questionable spending by his office. Meanwhile, he is seeking a third term as Fifth Circuit Solicitor. Now you